Hello friends this is Chandrakant and welcome to Akul Mac and today I'm privileged to have a very distinguished guest from UK Mr Neville Gund who's going to tell us about his program called Mindfit which we have launched in India last week Good morning CK good morning everybody a bright sunny ish friday uh, the sun's up there somewhere but it's a bit cloudy it's hidden behind the clouds Today, I thought we would talk about a very simple subject that is very dear to your heart, my heart, and dear to any manager's heart who's got a few people working with them, and that's the subject of teamwork. So, CK, you are my guinea pig, or radish, whichever way you want to call it, for the day. Um, teamwork, what do you understand about teamwork? What makes a team work well the team has to work towards one goal which is a team goal and uh, all members of the team must achieve that uh, goal the collective goal and to achieve that collective goal they have to have individual goals defined and they must for the sake of success of the team they must achieve their individual goals yeah you're absolutely right it's it's about literally working together on a common goal and in business that's easy to do so we set the common goal and teamwork happens doesn't it ideally it should it it must work like that <laughs> yes why not <laughs> it should and it must yes but the problem is how many times does it happen and the likelihood is not very many times because several reasons let me let me ask you another very simple question because all of these skills that we're talking about we must have learned them somewhere so we we've, we've spoken about communication well, we must have learned that at school how to communicate better how to work under pressure again we must have learned that over school you know we had 14 15 years at school maybe 2 3 4 years at university so we must have been able to work under pressure teamwork we must have done that at school as well so did you ever sit a team exam at school no i never never uh, there was never a team exam but you know there were some workshops which will inculcate the team uh, sort of team building uh, workshops there were, i mean you were lucky you had workshops which is great okay but you never sat a team exam don't you find that when teamwork is so important in business life even in family life actually because we need to work as a team at home you know and going out with your mates you need to work as a team but we don't actually work as a team and have a team exam I actually find that quite fascinating actually maybe people listening will think he's off his rocker he's talking nonsense here but the point is teamwork is so important because without it all you end up is getting people in the office at work on the shop floor who are just doing as they're told there's no interest there's no engagement they're just going through the motions that that isn't teamwork to me that's a dictatorship and we all know what happens to dictatorships you know people bully other people that isn't teamwork either so let's look at the components of teamwork what makes a good team so we're going to go back and forward here what word comes to mind making a good team what do you need to have to be a good team player um it's a very difficult question uh, neville i think uh, one of the key attribute is uh, a good listener maybe good listener absolutely i'm i'm so pleased you didn't say a good communicator because i would have then said okay give me an example of communication <laughs> listening is a great example of communication we need to listen but of course there's we need to listen not to respond but we need to listen to think because that's the whole point of listening isn't it not to just give people an immediate answer but to think about what the person's saying so all of your team players that are coming up with perhaps new ideas 
and you think immediately those new ideas, that's not a new idea. We tried that before they even joined the company, you know. It didn't work then, it's not going to work now. And immediately you turn around, we tried that, didn't work. You're not listening, you know. This is a new person in the organisation coming up with an idea that they've thought about. So what should, another word we should be doing, not just listening, what else? Um, positive attitude. Positive attitude, yeah, again, that's a bit of a construct, so I'm going to, we'll drill down into that one. But having a positive attitude basically says, encur maybe encouraging that person to say more. So you've listened to what they've said, and you've shut down that little demon inside of you that can't do, won't do voice that says, I'm going to just tell this person exactly what we've done before. You know, you encourage the person to explain a bit more. Two E's, encourage and explain. <laughs> OK, that's what we do when we're listening. We encourage people to explain how they feel. What's more? What else about teamwork? Now you're thinking. What other words come to mind when we talk about good teamwork? I think uh, have uh, trust on your team. I think that is the one of the critical aspects. Yeah, trust. A uh, huge word. Um, the, the nice thing about trust, it begins with T. And teamwork begins with T as well. So teamwork and trust are actually interconnected. So if you know that you can trust your team, you know, your back's covered, they're always going to be with you. That only for many people comes with time. But as we've spoken on many occasions before, you can trust someone 100% implicitly and explicitly right at the very beginning. And they will prove whether that trust is merited. They will prove whether they can earn that 100% badge of trust or it starts to reduce. Another word I'll, I'll, I'll say, because we can keep this simple for everybody, because the complexity comes with time. Another T word <laughs> connected with teamwork is being together. So it's together, you know, another T word, which is easy. So all you've got to do is teamwork, trust, and together. And if you just start to do those things very simply, you will start to build the team and good teamwork. You'll be listening, you'll be communicating properly, you'll be thinking, you'll be exploring, you'll be engaging, you'll be encouraging, you'll be empowering, you'll be allowing each of the team members to lead the conversation. And all of these wonderful words that are all in the dictionary that we talk about being a good team player and good leech leadership, all of a sudden start to make sense to you where you are. So it's not, it, this is, I'm not saying this is easy. It may be quite difficult to do. However, it's simple. It's a very simple thought process. You've now got to adapt it and adopt it into the way you work. And teamwork, as I say, is teamwork. Someone says teamwork makes the dream work. So, Neville, I think this is uh, amazing uh, insight in very short time you've given. And, um, uh, you know, the MindFit program covers some of these uh, uh, attributes, which people who are attending MindFit can actually improve their teamwork you know, other abilities to be a better human being. So tell us a little bit about how people will uh, uh, increase their quotient to work as a team if they attend MindFit. Well, MindFit is all about action. So there's two parts of action. The first part of action is knowing how you do it currently. So there's a lot of reflection and there's a lot of inward looking. You might call it looking in the mirror. What do I do now? So I, everyone works in a team. You cannot avoid working in the team. You know, even if you haven't got a job, you're at home and that's your team. 
Whether it's your flatmates, they're your team. Whether it's your family, they're your team. So it's actually building that relationship around the team. Who am I? What do I do? Where do I fit? What's my responsibility? And all of these things you need to understand now. And then we can then set the actions where you can go and improve yourself. And a very simple action is literally, you know, go and find out how other teams work. And you can Google it. I mean, this is not difficult to do. You can Google anything these days and just look at good teamwork and bad teamwork, you know, and you'll, you'll find it. The papers will be littered with it. The press will be littered with it. Websites will be littered with it. But the thing is, it's an action. You need to take an action to go and find out what you now want to be. What is a good example of teamwork? And that's what we show you. We show you good examples of teamwork. We break down what those examples really mean. Not, we don't just say, this is a good example of teamwork, and that's it. We actually explain why. Because if you've got the why, you can, can then see how they do it, and more importantly, what they do. So it's pretty simple, in, again, simple to understand, not necessarily easy to do. Because what it means is you've got to change what you do currently. So I think uh, you've uh, explained it beautifully, uh, Neville. Your program will make uh, people a better team player. And viewers who are listening to this uh, video, they must come and explore further. Uh, please reach out to us and enroll in the Indian edition of MindFit program. So Neville, thank you very much for finding time and speaking uh, with us. We will find another subject next week and come back to you with something more interesting. Always a pleasure, CK. Enjoy yourself, everybody. Go and have fun. Become a team player. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.